Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time when we left off we had cleared the strenuous system and completed the privateer's assignment. We are... and we actually finally completed our first collection, the Turian Insignias. So I feel like we're getting to the end of our big initial explore. Uh, Pharos. Specifically, Attic and Beta is what I haven't looked at yet. I'm going to ignore Theseus for now, and we're going to take a look at Hercules. Bad. Message coming in. Uh-oh. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Sounds reasonable. Zatoris. Just a moment. Zatoris is a hydrogen-helium gas giant with high-level decks of sulfur clouds. A layer of hydrocarbons is formed deeper in the atmosphere. Vast electrical storm fronts can be seen flickering across the dark side. Orbital period 113.1 Earth years, radius 52,290 kilometers, Day length, 17.2 Earth hours. Survey. Heavy metal surveyed. While scanning this planet, you detected a large deposit of gold on a nearby moon. Not bad. I'm sorry. Elitania. This is the one we can land on. So let's look at Syedid, Syedid, Syedid. The proximity of the energetic star Hercules causes constant blue and violet aurorae in Syedid's nitrogen-argon atmosphere. During periods of increased solar flares, the aurorae are bright enough to read by on the surface and can be seen with off-the-shelf optics from a distance of several AU. Syedid's scorching hot surface is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of iron. A surprising variety of simple carbon-based life flourishes in a complex network of cave systems that wind through the crust, protected from Hercules' heat of radiation, heat and radiation. Orbital period 0.4 Earth years, radius 7,702 kilometers, day length 67.0 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure 1.18 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature 523 Celsius, Surface gravity, 1.3 G. Survey. Medallion recovered. While scanning Syedid, you discovered a large debris field in geosynchronous orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweeps of the area and detected a few items of interest, including a League of One medallion encased in lead molding. Nice. And first off, Zathoron. Zathoron is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of boron. Orbital period 9.5 Earth years, <clears throat> radius 3,537 kilometers, day length 64.9 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure 0.37 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature 3.88 Celsius, Surface gravity, 0.39 g. And finally, Elitania. Morning, level 1 toxic hazard. Elitania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, 
and possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere, but the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native no, non life. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. Orbital distance 12.6 AU, orbital period 34.4 Earth years, radius 8,864 kilometers, day length 35.6 Earth hours, Atmospheric pressure, 2.1 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, 13 Celsius. Surface gravity, 1.2 G. Let's land. All right, let's keep Caden and let's bring along Tali. We need to start completing missions with her in order to get her achievement. <laughs> Alright, journal. Assignments. First of all, we're at 16 out of 20 heavy medals, and we're at 8 out of 10 league medallions. UNC, lost module. Alliance Command has asked you to recover a data module used to gather intel on Geth movements in the Attican Beta Cluster. It's likely the Geth are also after the data module. Go to Hercules System. Travel to the Hercules System in the Attican Beta Cluster and find the drone containing the data module. So far, so good. And we're going to need to level Tali up. 38 points! She's already got 6 rat talents in Quarry and Machinist. I probably did that, actually. Let's give her Master Marksman and Pistols. Let's take her to Basic Armor. Shield Boost. Unlock First Aid. Advanced Shield Boost. Damping. Ooh, I should look for AI hacking. Oh, and damping, actually. Those are both good. So unlock damping. Damping. Does 50 damage in a 6 meter radius. Enemies cannot use biotic tech abilities for a short period. Adds 30% cooldown time. Stuns basic enemies for 3 seconds. Recharge time 60 seconds. Accuracy cost 60%. Temporarily disables enemy biotics and tech within a certain radius. Increases the radius of sabotage, overload, and damping by 10%. Advanced damping. Does 100 damage in an 8 meter radius. Enemies cannot use biotic or tech abilities for a short period. That's 45% cooldown time. Stuns most enemies for 3 seconds. Recharge time 50 seconds. Accuracy cost 60%. Increases the radius and strength of damping. So far so good. And Master Damping. Does 100 damage in a 10 meter radius. Enemies cannot use biotic or tech abilities for a short period. Adds 60% cooldown time. Stuns all but the toughest enemies for 3 seconds. Recharge time 40 seconds. Accuracy cost 60%. Further increases the radius and strength of damping. Alright, let's unlock hacking now. Hacking unlocked. Recharges your tech proximity mines more quickly. That's a yawn. Grants the AI hacking ability, which makes artificial enemies go berserk and attack each other. AI hacking. Temporarily drives basic robotic enemies berserk, so they will attack anything nearby, including their former allies. Duration 20 seconds, recharge time 60 seconds, accuracy cost 
Very nice. Okay, that'll do, Tali. Let's gear her out. She's a pistol user. We'll do Kessler 6 for now. Stinger 6 is better. Stinger 6. That's gonna do it. Let's give her... Cryo round six. Shield bypass with no downside. Heck yeah, we'll do that. And we'll give her... Rail extension six. We don't have another Omni tool. And for armor... Wow, I can't switch anything for her, armor-wise. Except I can give her some I can give her one of these. What do you think? Ablative coating shield modulator. Let's boost her shields. That seems reasonable. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh I am gonna start. <clears throat> so we've got downed recon probe, an anomaly, and some debris. I'm going to go over here and do a clockwise loop to get everything on this one. I do like that they put the ring in the sky. That looks pretty neat. There it is. No! Oh no, these are like that, that other planet that I hated so much. If somebody thought we really wanted to spend a bunch of time trying to drive the Mako over mountains. This is neat looking, and this actually relies on the trinket that we got all the way back on the Citadel when we did the Asari Consort assignment. Prothean Ruin. If you're curious, recover artifact. Mysterious Globe. Examine. Yes. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari Consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the bird you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it is watching you, studying you. 
Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of the tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is the sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it, its call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elitania lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you undamaged and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one, an one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of a Cro-Magnon hunter captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. Fascinating. Okay. Gonna head north now. Our first uh, mineral deposit is up there. There are only two on this world, thankfully. That was an interesting little vision. I wonder if there's any concrete bonus for doing it, or if our reward for the Asari Consort quest is just the extra bit of lore. I mean, I'm a lore junkie, I'm okay either way. But it is a curious question. These mountains are terrible! The person who designed them should feel bad. Your mountains are bad, and you should feel bad. Alright, there's the metal. I see it. Palladium. Well, we're certainly not on level terrain, are we? Securing point. Heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of palladium. Seventeen of twenty heavy metals. I like it. Okay. Let's go east and a little north to whatever the debris is now. Oh boy.
All right, what have we here? Crashed probe, salvage. Come on, now. Why couldn't I get through that little spot? There we go. Energized weave six, high explosive six. Grenade upgrade. I think Shepard wants that grenade upgrade. Oh yes. Let's see, is energized weave yeah, I like that one a lot better. Now everyone who's with me has one. Okay. There's a little thing north of here. That was a little extreme, wasn't it? Renegade, plus four. Oh, I can get renegade points for killing these things. One of them, anyway. Still don't have the extra rank of Intimidate, that's okay. There's a mine shaft over here. And more space monkeys. Yeah, got him. Wonder if I can explore this thing. Enter mine. Why, yes. Let's do it. The monkey doesn't have the module. Oh, okay. Perimeter clear. We'll come back here. I think the assignment sends us here as a secondary location. Meantime, let's go to the east. Okay, it's further south. Come 
colony. south of here. Hopefully not in the hill is another uh, mineral deposit. We can already see it on our mini-map. That's nice. Oh, good. Securing point. Gold deposit. Nice. Heavy metal surveyed. You've successfully surveyed a large deposit of gold. Oh, this one is close. 18 of 20 heavy metals and 5 of 6 gases. All right. Almost ready to go to the down probe. Crash aim. Thank you. you. Make me nervous when you hiccup like that. This is the last surface monkey colony. Excellent. Alright, last but not least, the probe. Do 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 do. Down probe, examine. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Okay. Track the data module. An alien creature has run off with the data module. Track down the alien and recover the data module. Easy enough. Okay. Now it's time to go to that mine shaft. This is the one, I think. The monkey colony around here to the north. There we go. 
Now we need to go to the mine shaft. Gotta get to level terrain, don't I? There we go. Alright. Inside. Tali, you use your pistol. Caden, you too. Everybody use the weapons they're proficient with. I don't know why that's so hard. Medical kit. Perimeter clear. A locked crate. Easy decryption. You love to see it. Kessler 6, Avenger 7, assault rifle. Let me see about an Avenger 7. It's not as good as the Thunder 6, but I like that we're getting tier 7 weapons. Alright. Yeah, same mineshaft layout as always. Definitely get a sense that we're gonna fight some Geth on the way out. Else, why all of the containment cells? Locked crate, easy decryption. Banshee 6, Reaper 5, Naginata 5. Missing one other crate in here. There it is. An Avenger 6, an Equalizer 6, and Liberator 6 human light armor. I wonder if that's an upgrade for Caden. It is not. Okay. North tunnel first. Clear. Locked crate, easy decryption. Hurricane six, Banshee seven assault rifle. Let's check the Banshee 7. Still not better. Well, by process of elimination, this has got to be where the module is. Still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Secure crate, average decryption. A Raikou 6 and Striker 6 pistol and a Hurricane 6 shotgun. Let's look at those pistols.
Mainly for Toya. I like the Raikou 6, let's use that. Let's install transfer the upgrades over. Alright, Geth O'Clock. I'm interested to see what Tali does. Enemy sighted! Alright, what do we find? Kinetic Stabilizer 6. That's it. That's no good. Well, there we go. Oh, no. There are still more Geth. I hear them. That's probably it, though. And I think that's going to do it for our little assignment here. That hasn't updated, which seems odd. Oh well. That's going to do it for this planet, which is going to do it for this system, and is going to do it for this episode. Let's just see if we get a... Uh, we are really closing in on the few remaining uh, collection quests, which is nice. Journal. Oh, it's done. After a long and frustrating search, you've finally located the data module. Intel has been relayed to Alliance Command. Missing Marines is the only one we have that it besides uh, collection stuff now. That's fun. That makes me happy. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's return to the Normandy. Let's see if Hackett has anything to say to us. And then we're going to call it an episode. Here we go. Nothing to say, huh? Alright, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna make a big save here, and we are going to call it a video. This has been Let's Play Mass Effect. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a like and sub to the channel. 
If you want to discuss this or any of my content, the best place to do that is my Discord server. That link is in the video description. And if you want to support me or the channel, the best way to do that is to become a Patreon supporter. That link's also in the video description. Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the game that goes in the Patreon slot, which is currently Mass Effect. Go figure. Regardless, I really want to thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day, and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.